Welcome back everyone, and look at this shiny new galaxy for us to explore. It's known as the Matter Splatter Galaxy. This might play a little bit of tricks on the camera, so I apologize in advance for it. But hey, what are you going to do? This is known as Watch Your Step. Uh, this is basically a place of... See those, like, droplets of matter? Yeah, it's, it's creating surfaces for you to drop on. Holy cow, the camera's not going to like this at all. Okay, it's back to normal. <laughs> okay, see this? Nice, gentle platforms here. Those matter splatter thingies don't hurt you at all. Um, but these Chemex do, or I should say Magic Koopas do. Uh, this is so weird. I mean, this is like... This just doesn't make sense in any... Any word... I mean, any definition of the word sense, so to speak. Um, so, that's why I like it. It's so weird. And, like, it's making platforms appear on the <laughs> on the wall jump areas. Oh, my goodness. Don't kill me, matter splatter. Um, as you can see, you can only go where the matter's going. Otherwise, you're going to fall to your doom. Oh, my goodness. Don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me with your fireballs. And there should be another wall jump section coming here. Yes! A boinky boinky, and wait for it. Don't worry, this won't kill you. It's designed not to if you play along. Kill him for the love of God. And yay for the pipe! Next area is a spring area. Oh boy! This is gonna be nice, isn't it? Uh, spring! Yeah, and now the thing is gonna start up. When you, when you hit that thing right there. And now you've got to go get ahead of these platforms before you die from the matter. Uh, destroying those platforms beneath your feet. Or I should say dematerializing those platforms from beneath your feet. So wait around here. I definitely recommend you wait around here. And don't bounce up here ahead of time. Um, you want to stay ahead of them as good as possible. Otherwise you'll die. Yeah. Um, wherever you see star bits, that's where the next platform is going to appear, uh, usually, so pay, pay close attention to it, uh, otherwise, that's the only tip I can give you here. This is a side-scroller here, so you're not going to bounce out of control like in different angles like you do normally in a 3D space with this Spring Mario uh, power-up here. So, you shouldn't have much trouble. Oh boy, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Bouncy. Okay. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, there is Star Bits. Star Bits. And there's something coming up here. Oh wait, it's over there. Oh my goodness. Get up there, Mario. Oh. Getting a little frightened and hyper here. Oh, there's a springy thingy there. I should say a launch star over there. I can't get to it. Yeah, in the normal circumstances, unless I go like that and fling myself way over and up here inside the pipe, which will warp me to another area, a very dark area, which I hopefully will not, I mean, hopefully will not screw up the camera. And when you touch this spot here, the matter starts moving forward, and now you got to stay with it. Choose your path wisely. <laughs> yeah, um... Wait for the matter to start materializing before you jump forward. It's just a little pro tip for you there. Otherwise, you'll jump right to your doom. Yay! I kind of like taking the middle path. Like, because I can always take the same paths that I want to, so it's predictable. Um, but if you want to, you can try to optimize your path by taking an easier path. I don't know which is much easier than the middle path. Because you're always jumping gaps no matter which path you take. Oh my goodness, don't... Oh wait, I'll, st I'll stick with the center row. Stick with the center. Center, 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 center. Well, I guess it's not messing with the camera too badly. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness! Okay. <laughs> I had a long jump over there. I just seen that before I died. And the star is coming my way. Or I should say I'm coming towards the star. Don't, don't long jump for it. You don't want to take risks here. God, Magic Koopa, don't shoot somewhere that'll kill me. Star! Woo! I am so happy I made it. Come to think of it, I have no idea what I'm going to do right now. Hold on a second. Um, for now, I 
decided to go back to the engine room and go back to the Gold Leaf Galaxy to race a Cosmic Mario. Whee! Yes, baby. It's time for the race of the century. Cosmic Mario Forest Race. Oh yeah. Bring it on, Cosmic Mario. Um, this Cosmic Mario race is actually kind of tricky because of all those, uh, holes in the floor, I shouldn't say holes in the floor, all the ways that you can fall off, uh, long jump right over here, and Cosmic Mario will pop out of nowhere. Hi, how's it going? It's a face-off, it's a stare-down, it's the race of the century, as I said, and I finally got the boost for once, holy cow! Anyway, go all the way over here, and get on top of these NES-style blocks, and stay ahead of my... Uh, I was going to say Shadow Mario, Cosmic Mario. Long jump any gaps that you see, or long jump to uh, save time in general. If you can, um, like I'm going to long jump over here to save time. Oh yeah, that was mad skills, baby. And I would... I think I got the race in the bag. Yeah, that was pretty easy, actually. Yay! That was actually quite pathetic. Well, whatever. I'm not going to complain. Alright, what I decided to do is go to the kitchen here. I should say the outside of the kitchen. And feed this hungry Luma. This should fill out the part nicely. Um, because I don't have much time left in this part. At least I, don't, I estimate I don't have enough time left in this part to uh, do much more than that. Come to think of it, after I do this star right here, I have no idea what else I'm going to be doing. Uh, the Drip Drop Galaxy has opened, so let's go to it right now. Uh, yeah, after the star, things are going to be pretty non-linear. Like, everything's going to be all over the place. Anyway, what i got to do with this galaxy is kill those uh, eels. Yeah, it's, i I got, I got to do it with shells. Pretty simple. Yeah, there's a lot of penguins to talk to. Uh, awesome music, by the way, I must add. But I always say that about all the galaxies, because the music is awesome. Uh, I just talk to penguins for the heck of it. So, oh no, giant... Uh, no, not them, anything but them. Gringills, we must stop them. Uh, somehow. And yes, I can beat them by hitting them with shells. And I'll talk to the old, old penguin here, over here. And, uh, what you got to say, penguin dude? Uh, yeah, I know he's getting old, but that just... And I, I, don't, I don't feel like talking to the rest of the penguins. I'll just kill the eels. Remember, whenever you want to throw a shell, just shake to throw it. And, uh, wait, where's an eel? I need an eel. There's an eel. And I gotta get close enough for me to hit one. They swim pretty fast, so... There's a toad brigade ship. My god, they are bad at, at driving. Uh, there we go. That should work. Ah, oh, I completely missed. Dang it. Well, anyway, red shells, like the one you've seen. Oh, no, not the torpedo tets. Anything but the torpedo tets. Um, ah, <laughs> torpedo tet attack. There's a red shell. Red shells home in on those eels. As I said before, red shells are awesome. Well, there's an eel right there, but I, I think I didn't have enough time to shoot at it there. So I'm going to shoot at this one here. I should hold in onto it nicely, and it kills it in one hit somehow. There's another red, red shell. Grab the red shell. My god, those torpedo teds are annoying. Oh shoot, I missed it with the red shell. Hopefully it'll go around the planet and, and kill it. Hopefully. Uh, I need another shell. Uh, there's a treasure chest to open up with thingies inside. Some nice thingies, I'm sure. There's a red shell. Red shell, red shell. Yay! Where is an eel? I need an eel. I'm pretty sure there's three eels on this planet. There's an eel. Shoot! And it's gone. Woo! I'm pretty sure there's one more. I'm going to grab a shell just for the heck of it to get away from those torpedo teds a lot easier. Um, I'm going to look for that red shell once again. There it is, because I only need this one more. And I seen the eel just go right above my head there. And, oh, there it is. just need to angle it so I can follow him. Like... That's... Uh, dang camera angle. Camera angle bad there. Okay, shoot it. Oh, it didn't lock on to him. Dang it. There, oh, there's another red shell on top of the Toad Brigade ship. Or I should say on the bottom of the Toad Brigade ship. That is not a very ergonomically uh, designed ship, I gotta say. I mean, I don't know. I don't see how it could fly, honestly. It doesn't have any wings or stabilizers or anything. It's just a mushroom. Uh, but I guess that's why they crash a lot. So, anyway... 
Where is the last eel? I only need to kill one more eel. Da, 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 da. Red shells for the win and eels for the loss. Wait, I seen it! I seen it! I seen it! There it is. Got it! Got it! Got it! Got it! Yes, it's over. Give me the freaking star so I can leave. And that about does it for this part, I guess. I just need to find the thing, a sunken ship. Oh, there it is. So, as I said, that about does it for this part. I don't know what I'm going to be doing next, so I'm going to stop for today. That's 80 stars. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you later.